I'm literally gonna go buy Febreze. Good morning, and it's actually morning. Happy Thursday, it's the 19th, and I'm, oh, you should press start when you're cooking something in the microwave because it won't cook by itself. Say good morning, say good morning to all the friends. Good morning, dirty face. I don't want to say this, but I'm just not in the, I don't feel like going. I mean, I have my Saint shirt on, even though it's not football season. I just have to get my head in a mental space to like get over it and go. And part of it, I don't want to leave him. I know he's fine. I think I need him more than he needs me. And that's not the way to have a balanced relationship. I just want to stay home and hang out. You're a piglet. You make me weigh more because I have to hold you. Run, run, run from me. Hey guys, I'm in my hotel room. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just kind of like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I don't know, not that I don't want to be here. I don't know. It just happened very quickly. And they're kind of like, you're going. I'm like, oh, okay. Anywho, I bought these stupid ass headphones from the Best Buy vending machine in the airport and they suck. I wanted some real headphones, but I didn't want to pay like $200 for Beats. So I paid $49 for this piece of crap. So now I have to figure out how you can return to a Best Buy vending machine. And my room smells like ass. It smells like Katrina water from 10 years ago. I'm on the 11th floor and I don't even think there is water in this part of New Orleans, but I'm literally going to go buy Febreze. I should probably just change rooms, but I've, I think it's sold out. So I'll be back later. I didn't even film anything in the airport because I'm just like, I just wasn't in the mood. I'm like, it's an airport. Okay, so I just finished setting up and I'll show you like real quick. It's my thing. Oh, uh, what? Oh, uh, no, I'm just doing like a quick video. Drugs. I think. There is something on my lens. It's neutral green bar. Hola, mi gente. We're going on an adventure because there is not a fridge in this room. We need to get some ice so I can have my wild cherry coke cold. Vending. Oh, wait. I'm here. Vending's here. Let's see if I can read a map. I'm the dot. Vending is the triangle. So I feel like if I go that way, this will happen. Let's see if we can do this. Let's go. Creepy, creepy Willy Wonka carpeting. <laughs> oh yeah, I did it. Go me. This thing is not working. I want the ice. I followed all the instructions. Whatever, I don't need ice. I like to drink my drinks hot. There should be one on like every floor, so maybe I can just go down to another floor. Oh, and the elevators are really weird. You push the button up here, so I'm 11, so let's go to 12. And then it tells you what letter, and I'm in elevator E, and then E will be ready. I rate this experience of getting some ice zero stars. Then it gets weirder when you get in the elevator. You don't press any buttons because you already did it on the outside. I rate this elevator two stars. The ambiance is nice, but hopefully vending. I rate this artwork five stars. Looks totes profesh. Let's hope that this one works. Put this Stupid cup. Press the button. Oh, 
I don't get it. Victory is mine. That ice. It took two people to figure it out. I don't know. I might have to rate this hotel between their sucky ice machines and my post-Katrina mildew smelling room. They're sliding on three stars right now. No, that's not good at all. Welcome to my crib. I'm in this room and it doesn't matter because by the time you see it, I will not be in this room anymore. So come on in. We have some fancy key cartage. That doesn't work. Uh-oh. Oh yeah. The Marriott on Canal Street. When you first walk in, let's lock the doors for safety. I think this is a connected room. And I hope they don't ever come over. And then you have a standard bathroom with ice in the sink because I dumped my ice out because the ice bucket is stupid. The beautiful duck. Some products. We have some beautiful artwork. I give this like four stars. I would give it five. I wouldn't buy it. I don't want it in my house, but I give it five. Then we have a beautiful fan tissue. We have some nice toilet paper. They pay attention to detail. And then we have one of those faux shower curtains that makes you feel like the shower is so much bigger than it is because it's curved. But it's just a regular old tub. In the closet, there's absolutely nothing but an iron, a pillow, my outfit for tomorrow, my outfit for Saturday, and an extra pillow. I feel like I should have six pillows because I'm a princess. Luggage rack, I don't like putting my luggage on the floor. Breeze because this room smells like some old ass post Katrina flood mildew water. So I had to go, I almost got it all out, but I took, <laughs> I had to walk to Walgreens and get some for Reese because I was like, heck no. And the whole hotel sold out. I find to believe, hard to believe, that a hotel with like over a thousand rooms or whatever and that's 17 stories high, has no room, but whatevs. We got our big flat screen TV. Drawers. Damn it, there's a fridge in here. I threw away my cheeseburger because I thought there was no fridge, but then how will I cook it? With the blow dryer. I'm like, do my. You know what? I'm just gonna do it the old fashioned way. I don't care. That's why we do hotel ribs. Close. And then we have our room dining. And then if you're like all into their sheets and their radio, you can buy their lamp for $210. I'm not doing that. I'm not buying anything from here. The bed, like, the bed's not all that. I don't need to bring home the bed. They can kiss my ass. We have a lovely desk with some coffee station thingamajig. There's a Starbucks, so we'll do that. And there's tea, and it's like close this, like a little magical coffee and tea bento box. This is the coffee and tea maker. There's a chair, there's a chair here. I mean, an ottoman, I don't know that a stool. Some light, chair, bed. Her babies have probably been made on that bed. And that really grosses me out. View, I have a view of the pool. Not sure if you can see it. Let's do some zoomage. There's actually people in there. Do they know we're creeping? They look kind of pixelated, like, they know we shouldn't see them. Ooh, I hope they're not doing dirty things in the pool. Just city stuff. City, city, city. That concludes my Hotel Cribs Corp tour. So, I need you guys to go. Don't let the dough hit you on the ass. Out. I'm gonna call it a night because it is 1040. I hope that's the right time. I'm getting so confused over what time is the right time and time, 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 even though it's only an hour. So, oh, I found this random pill on the floor. What if it's a molly and then I can pop it and be sweating? Woo!
I'm gonna throw it away. I'll be like some old lady's heart pill. I should just mind my own business and call it a night because I have to be up tomorrow at five. So, bye! Oh, there's no Bentley's to say bye, but if he did, he's with TT Brandy and Molly Moo, his toy poodle bestie, so he's fine. He doesn't even care that I'm gone, which kind of makes me sad. So, bye!